How do you prevent slipping and falling on ice in the winter? Falls on ice can be hazardous or even deadly. So it's important to know safety tips to help you avoid slipping and falling on ice. Now, obviously the best way not to slip and fall on ice in the winter is just not to go out on it in the first place if you don't have to. But sometimes you need to go places when it's snowy or icy out, or sometimes you want to go enjoy things in the winter and you wanna learn how to get around safely. So I'm gonna give you a few tips in this video to help you walk on ice more safely without slipping and falling. Now, balance has very little to do with slipping and falling on ice. It's actually more about understanding the science of friction. You can have the best balance in the world, but if you slip on ice, you are probably gonna end up on the ground. So the first tip is to wear proper shoe wear. You wanna wear shoes that are made with rubber and have a lot of good traction on the bottom so it increases the friction between the ground and your shoe. Friction is the force that prevents you from sliding. And mathematically, what it's made up of is the weight going down against the ground perpendicular times the coefficient of friction. Now that's different for every surface that you're on, but pure ice or black ice is gonna have a very low coefficient of friction, meaning you slide easily. So look for areas that are covered with either dirt or salt or snow, and that helps increase the friction further. Now, when you're actually stepping, you wanna make sure that you get a perpendicular force because a perpendicular force is gonna translate all of your body weight into creating a friction force. Versus if you take a larger step, some of your body weight is going parallel to the surface, meaning it's a sliding force, versus part of it is going perpendicular to the surface, which creates more friction. So by taking shorter steps and making sure your center of gravity is continuously over top of your foot, it decreases how much sliding force is available. Additionally, when you're stepping, you want to step with a flat foot so you create more contact area between your foot and the ground. If you take a large step and heel strike, you have very little contact area to create friction. Additionally, again, some of your weight is going in a forward direction while another part of your weight is going downwards. And the larger the step angle, the more sliding force there is. Now that same principle applies when you're on a hill. The steeper the hill, the more downward force there is. So your body weight is going downwards and part of that is going downhill and part of that is going perpendicular to the hill. And the steeper the hill becomes, the more of your weight is going downwards. And finally, if you're gonna be outdoors a lot, wearing ice cleats can help. There are various different brands, but the one that Consumer Reports rated to be the best was the Stable Icers Max. And I'll put a link to those down below the video here. So just to summarize, if you are gonna be out on ice, try to take short steps, make sure you hit with your foot flat versus heel striking, and wear proper footwear that has good grips, and consider getting ice cleats if you're gonna be out in the snow and ice a lot. So be safe this winter, and thanks for watching.